Some passengers hugged and held hands. Others texted loved ones. One woman checked in with her high school group chat, taking comfort from friends on the ground who were monitoring the plane's path. Shaken flight attendants reassured passengers and urged them to stay buckled in. Those are some of the scenes that unfolded during the crisis aboard Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, when a door in the 26th row blew off the plane shortly after takeoff from Portland, Oregon, leaving a gaping hole in the side of the Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet. Amazingly, none of the passengers or crew aboard were seriously injured, even as freezing cold wind and mist whipped inside the depressurized cabin, blowing hats, earbuds and phones away from their owners, passengers said the scene, for the most part, remained, eerily calm. Flight attendants did their best to communicate with passengers over the noise, and passengers comforted each other and relied on the plane's still-functioning Wi-Fi to send text messages to loved ones. Nicholas Hoke, 33. A Portland-based architect flying to visit his girlfriend in California, said in an interview with the Washington Post that he had settled back into seat 12A next to a window, listening on his headphones to a podcast about Tokyo. And then, Hoke said, at about 16,000 feet, all of a sudden, hell breaks loose. He described hearing, a big boom in the back, a big pop followed by a rapid depressurization of the cabin that caused a white cloud of mist to fill the plane. It kind of hits me in the face, feels like cool vapor, he said. His hat flew off his head, which he somehow managed to catch. The long hair of female passengers around him whipped back in their seats. Earbuds and phones flew backward, and in some cases, out of the plane. The plane lurched unsteadily and began, tipping left and right. Oxygen masks popped from overhead and everyone began fastening the masks to their faces and helping others around them, Hoke said. A flight attendant's voice came over the speakers urging people to put their masks on, keep their seatbelts on and stay seated. I'm like, something's bad happening, something wrong is going on, it's not right. That's where the fear set in. And I started getting really scared, he said. Hoke said the gaping hole wasn't visible to everyone, and he and others initially didn't know what was happening around them. He recalled a woman walking up the aisle to the front of the plane and yelling out that someone's shirt was sucked off their body through a hole in the plane. And then another man stood up and shouted, pointing back, There's a, expletive, hole in the plane. There's a hole. Passengers gasped as flight attendants again reminded passengers to put on their masks and stay seated and buckled. 